Hello YouTube. Welcome to another Easy Doc Errors video. If, like me, you get persistent errors and problems with Easy Doc, then these videos may just make your flight sim life a whole lot easier. I've noticed that a lot of FSX users are struggling with the world camera in FSX. They just can't get it to work. The symptoms are almost always the same. Trying to add a world camera will either place you above an ocean in the middle of nowhere or place you inside the aircraft where you cannot move the camera beyond the aircraft walls. The fix I'll show you today addresses both of these issues. Here's how to do it. Firstly, ensure that FSX is not running. If it is, you'll need to close it down. Next, go to your EasyDoc installation folder. By default, it's located in C, Program Files x86, EZCA. Find and rename the variables.ini file. I usually just add the suffix .org or perhaps .org.txt if I want to be able to do a comparison with it. Next, go to the EasyDoc software site and download the variables.zip file. I've provided the URL in the show notes below. Now extract the enclosed variables.ini file into your EasyDoc installation folder. You'll now need to ensure that you can see hidden folders on your computer. If you're using Windows 7 or 8, you can check or set this option like this. First start Windows Explorer. Then select Tools, Folder from the main menu. Select the View tab. In Advanced Settings, under the Hidden Files and Folders heading, ensure that Show Hidden Files, Folders and Drives is selected. Finally, push OK. You'll now be able to see hidden files and folders on your system. Now, go to your FSX Data folder. If you're using Windows 7 or Windows 8, you'll find it in C, Users, your username, App Data, Roaming, Microsoft, FSX, anything but short and sweet. Find and rename the cameras.cfg file. Again, I usually just add the suffix .org. When that's done, start FSX and let it load. Once loaded, close it back down again. This will have recreated your cameras.cfg file with the FSX defaults. Now run the ESCA config.exe application and click through the initial dialog options. Push configure FSX files and this will add the easy.cameras to your cameras.cfg file. And that's it. You should now be able to run FSX and add a world camera. For details on how to do this, watch out for an upcoming video titled How to Configure and Use EasyDoc. It's a great time to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.